Good morning, everybody. Sorry, my hair's a bit wonky. My sunglasses are a bit wonky. It is day four today in Disneyland Paris, and it's going to be another beautiful day. It's going to be boiling tomorrow, though, when we leave, like 30-something degrees. <laughs> I think I'm quite glad that we're leaving, though, if it's going to be that hot. That's too hot. Um, So we're going to head into the Disney... No, we're not heading into Disney Studios Park. What's the part we're heading into called? Uh, Disneyland. Why is Disneyland Park? Basically, I keep calling it Magic Kingdom. Why is the Disneyland Park today? Um, we're going to finish up um, some of the rides we didn't do in there. Actually, I think we might have done nearly everything in there now. So we're probably going to do doubles of things. We haven't watched the parade yet, so we're looking at watching the parade. We're going to have some lunch, and then our flight back is not till 10 o'clock tonight. So we don't need to leave for the airport until around 7-ish. We're going to get the train. Even though that's probably too early, but we need to get back to obviously here um well we've left the park at like seven we've got to walk back here mm -hmm. then we've got to get the luggage and we've got to get to the train station and then the train's literally quite quick but um we just probably will be tired and need to have a rest by then anyway so at least we can sit down in the airport and chill but come with us and see what we get up to today well we can definitely tell that today is a saturday <laughs> If we thought it was a bit busy the other days, it's ramped up today. To be fair though, but later today, because we knew we didn't have to check out till 11. We knew we had a long time here today and we didn't want to be it too early and in the park, like for hours and hours and hours, because I just can't do that. Normally we've been coming back to the park and having a rest in the afternoon and going again, but we won't really be able to do that the rest from going back to the hotel. And we could go back to the hotel and come back out, but it's just not going to be. And that's when we can't get to the rooms just be sat in the hotel so then that was gonna sit somewhere in here um so it's 5 to 11. so this is the queue on a saturday at 5 to 11. which is not too bad to be honest really but the other days it's been a little bit quieter hasn't it so we will see when we Je suis Buzz Léclair et je viens en paix. Salut, je m'appelle Bouffi. Vous voulez faire partie de ma banque
Gosh! Cuckoo Kachu! Genial! not March Air. So it is March Air Cafe. So they've got these three ice creams here and then they've got a speciality one here as well. 
Okay, so this is the one dorable. Oh, I can't think of what it's called, that dorable. So it's vanilla ice cream with brownie pieces, a little door, and some caramelized. It's not nuts, is it? I don't think. I can't remember what it was. And then Matilda's got the curious labyrinth. labyrinth. So it's vanilla ice cream with sprinkles and like three different signs in this way. Up, oh, watch. So we came into the park and we went straight to get a spot for the parade because we haven't seen the parade yet and it was almost, well it was about 11 o'clock wasn't it, nearly by the time we got in the park and the parade starts at half 11. It's a shame we only do it once a day though, um, so doing it twice. And so we saw the parade near kind of where small, but I literally watched it come out of the doors, which was a really good spot because we saw it come out of the doors and then we were the first people to leave them. So we literally left and went straight to the Princess Pavilion because it wasn't as busy then because most people had just finished watching the parade, but most of the park were still watching it at the other end. So we saw the princesses. Well, we only see one. Um, we saw Aurora. He did say to us, have you been here before? What other princes have you seen in the past? Um, and we said, I, th I said, I think last time was like seven years ago since we've been, I said, but I think it was Snow White and Cinderella. Um, and we got led to Aurora. And then we finished in Aurora, sorry, seeing Aurora and we came and got our ice creams, which you've just seen. They were really nice, wasn't they? Absolutely. Well worth the seven euro. And we're sort of still eating hers and you're still eating some of ours. Really, really good, like so worth the money. Um, it was caramelised almonds and hazelnut like slivers. It says slivers, but it wasn't. It was more like caramelised bits. Um, Ant doesn't like nuts, so I get the top bit and then he had the bottle, like we shared the bottom bit. The brownie also had nuts in as well, just so you know, but Matilda's didn't have nuts in. But they was really good. We probably could have just got the one we got between the three of us, to be honest, because we've struggled to eat the two between the three of us. Um, so the plan is now we've finished our ice cream is to go and meet Mickey because we've realised we haven't met Mickey yet. I think we've just forgotten about characters for some reason. They've not been like well published we maybe. Yeah, we saw Goofy in the hotel last night. Um, you could see them in the hotel. Um, but it's like late at night. Is it like half seven it was something or half eight? Yeah, I think we're used to Florida where you can just kind of like see them quite a bit around the park and you know the spots that they're going to be in where we don't really know this but when we come look on the app you know we can do and we have looked a little bit but we're going to go meet we've seen the princess in the princess pavilion and we're going to go meet mickey in his house next okay so we did snow white and we just tried to go on pirates and then literally walked in and got sent out for cubic it's gone down so i've walked around this way today so the little pirate i'm going to say play it's called like isle of something i can't actually remember now let's have a look at it but you can come round here and then he's like you go up there it's oh you just go round actually like a pirate skull rock coral you can go all around different bits round here so you can go all in like little caves round here everywhere um, want to spend there and then you just basically come out here when you've been through it and you can see the ship from this but never good picture that actually if you just sit there and then there is a lot of path down there, but no one's going down there. It says you can go down there. Um, Spy Glass Hills, Port Suspense, and something's down that way. And I'm not sure at one point you used to be able to go up on the thing over there as well. Because there's big ropes up there, like a walkway. Unless you can climb up that way. There's nobody down there at the minute. There's a big area over there. And then that's the... Oh, there is a little play area there. Looks like I've come into the middle of something. Oh, there's a map here. I'll have a look in a moment. Okay, so this is a map. So we were just here near the ship, Skull Rock. I came over that bridge, so I think I'm round here now. And then it looks like Swiss Family Robinson trees here as well. And some kind of spyglass hill. So you can go anywhere around here. It tells you a little pit here to go. It's quite clever. So that's the exit only for that one there, whatever that bit is. Lots of people are going that way. Um, and it looks like there's an actual play area here, I'm not quite sure. Um, oh yeah, there's kind of like a little play area, probably boiling, there's a bit of shade on it. So entries this way, I think this might be for the um, Swiss Family Robinson. There's another bridge there. 
Oh yeah, so there's the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. That's where people are going up there. So we can look at the little map over here. So this is where you go in for the Swiss Family Robinson. I'm not going up there because there's no way I can climb up all those stairs. <laughs> So it's basically up there and you can have an adventure and go around all the little paths and things similar to Florida. Okay, so Ant and Matilda have been on Big Thunder Mountain. I've had a wander around and thanks to Annie's tours, I have found Café Le Bruges, which has pineapple whip, six euros. Yes, we just had ice cream. And now we're gonna have pineapple dough. This is the pineapple whip. So is it coming in a waffle bowl? Yeah. Oh yeah, how much was it? Six euros. Six euros, that's not bad for six euros. Those ice creams before yeah. were seven. The waffles, so, so. That it's not reset, it's not plastic. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, I do mm. like that. Hello, I've got Baymax in the background. Um, so we're going to head to, we decided to go to Plaza Gardens for lunch. So there's no, we realise there's no characters at lunch, so have there's characters at dinner and breakfast. Um, but we don't mind because we just really want to sit down in, a, in somewhere that's got air conditioning. We know we can get a seat, we know we can have some food. Yeah, it is. So what's the prices for this one? Yeah, I think it's like 45 for adults and 22. We worked out for the three of us, it would be... Oh, it's 115, so it's 25 for kids. 25, yeah, I think for the three of us, we worked out it'd be 115 euros for two adults. And my mother's just a child still, because she's 11. We're getting out, we're all right at the minute. Agrabah was 22 for kids. Um, yeah, Agrabah was 22 for kids. That one was 25 then, yeah. And 35 for adults. 45 for adults, sorry, I'm getting it confused again. Yeah, 115 for the three of us. Um, so we're going to go there. Like I said, it is 115 euros, which is probably going to be... 96, yeah, 97 pounds, something like that. But we can get like a starter, a main, a dessert each, a glass of um, fizzy drink, a glass of water. So when you break it down like that, and we've only eaten two at the Pim Kitchen and we've ate here today. And this is a longer day today. We wouldn't normally like eat in... Well, I say that, but last time we came in, we did have the half board, so we did. Uh, but we did say we wasn't going to do, but then we decided on it, didn't we? I've tried to eat at the Royal Banquet every And day. tried the Royal Banquet every day because it's availability every day and I've told him five times no because we're not paying over £250 just to go and eat there. <laughs> so we compromise with this one now. Okay, so we're going to go in there and have our dinner and then we'll catch it when we come out. Okay, so this is the buffet at Plaza Gardens. Plaza Gardens? Yeah in Disneyland Paris for lunch. So lunch is the only time that there is not characters here. So you've got small white bread rolls. Oh, I've started at the desserts again like to do the other one. Oh, this is um, Greek yogurt. What was ice cream, it's Greek yogurt. Oh, someone's destroyed the macaron tower. Oh, they have those in um, Pim Kitchen, gluten-free things, jellies. Uh, um, chocolate banana and passion fruit dessert, chocolate fondant cake, white chocolate mousse sponge cake, um, red fruit cheesecake, mandarin chocolate tart, strawberry mint and lime dessert, fruit salad, you've got cream on glace, they've got pecan tart and apple upside down cake right there. And then you've got, I did the one with the flower with mandarin chocolate tart, cocoa lime and yellow Mickey tartlet. Carrot cake, um, peanut puff, and raspberry pistachio tartlet. Then hot food, we've got paddock in virgin sauce, rice, green and yellow French beans, vegetables, that's pan fried spell with soybeans, asparagus, and morsel, and white butter salmon. On this side, you've got all your sauces pepper sauce, mustard sauce, chicken jus. You've got navina of lamb curry. Organic pasta, um, plant-based sausage and mushroom, free-range chicken, and um, potatoes with parsley. And you've got sliced beef with shallots. Oh, they're like Mickey they heads, crispy potatoes with Mickey heads, pasta, smarter sauce, and Mickey cheese ravioli. That's cute. Mussels in there. Today they've got smoked Angus brisket. Oh, something's on the floor. I'm going to go and play it. Um, cheese waffles. They're cute. 
and you've got cheeses. All the cheeses in Mickey heads as well. Butters and things. Both sides are the same, but in the middle is a salad bar. So I'm not gonna go over the side, you can see the salad. And um, that's like artichokes at the back. Sliced roast chicken. Steph, I'm not sure what Steph is. Roast chicken, roulette, mini pepper stuff with goat cheese. Most of us have like some of the tricks from it's like the octopus salad, that's a different one. All the quinoa, tofu and cranberry salad is that one. That one is potato and plant-based sausage salad. Tomato mozzarella, smoked salmon. Fish, you've got curry salad with tomato, garlic and herb balsam on cheese. That was a plant-based one. Mixed salad and Caesar sauce there. I just I can't remember if I filmed this bit. They've got salad dressing, balsamic vinegar and olive oil. I just want, I never normally show like my plate, but look at all the Mickey food. So it's like Mickey shaped carrot and courgettes, Mickey shaped potatoes, Mickey shaped cheese filled ravioli and a Mickey cheesy waffle. Look at that sky today. There is not a cloud inside. Yeah, it's absolutely boiling today. What is it on my watch? 28 degrees. Full sunshine. Yeah, Celsius. Most people are Celsius. Oh, America do Fahrenheit. We've got water over here, have we yet? Mm. You've never seen any of this, have you, Matilda? Well, she has, but she doesn't mind. Yeah. Look at this. It is a really pretty castle. Smaller than Cinderella's, Cinderella's isn't it? I think. Not as grand. Uh, is it smaller? It looks there. Yeah. Um, parts of it nice, wasn't it? Oh yeah, sorry, Plaza Gardens was lovely. Did I not say that on the other bit? No. Sorry, no. Plaza Gardens was really nice, just literally what we needed. I did film some of the buffet as well, so you'll be able to see some of it. But we're going to see Maleficent under the castle. This is the only one where you can Yeah, it's the only castle you can go underneath. So it's Maleficent we're going to find. You have to find her. Where is she? Hiding somewhere, waiting to eat Matilda. Okay, we found her. Here she is. Oh, oh, she's waking up. Nope, she's gone back to sleep. It is very dark in here, just so you know, you can barely see. My phone's showing it quite light, but it's very dark, isn't it? But you can go up the stairs there as well. Yeah, she was awake a minute ago. Top. So we just came up, there's little stairs here, or oh, there is actually a lift here as well. So you can just see down there now, that's what we were looking at, Maleficent. And then when you come to the top, it brings you out into this little shop. I think I always thought it was the Christmas shop. It's not the Christmas shop, is it? I thought it was going to be like a Christmas shop because normally they have like a little Christmas shop, don't they, in a castle? What was there a Christmas shop? It's like a little, um, yeah, it's like the alabash shop. It's the glass things, isn't it? And the baubles and things like that. I found the Christmas shop and I actually walked in and went, oh, it's Christmas. And it was so quiet in here that the podcast members jumped behind us till in dinner and stared at me. I was like, I'm so sorry. I just really don't think you have the Christmas shop because I thought it was the other side. And they both burst out laughing. But it was like really, really quiet. I didn't realise how quiet it was going to be. And there's me running in going, oh, it's Christmas. I got a bit too excited though. I do love, I love the Christmas shop. That doesn't smell like Christmas though. I'm a bit upset with that. <laughs> oh, these are nice. These like wooden ones. They're really pretty. 12 euros, that's not bad. They're pretty, aren't they? Like the wooden card ones. I have no idea what the Mickey and Minis are. Like Christmas pajama ones. Oh, look a little stitchy. There's loads of, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Look at Chip and Dale there under the little glass thing. And Bumper. 20 for Chip and Dale, that's not bad, is it? 
Well, they've got a lot, like a lot, a lot of stuff. Oh, they've got a 40% off promotion over here on Anna Pearly. So that one's 15 with 40% off. Ariel is 15 with 40% off. Dangler Christmas. So it's just Anna and Ariel at the minute. We've got all the other princesses here. Really, really, really full shop. So we've just come upstairs now to look at the top of the area. And I realized that there was a lift that brings you up, but it also takes you down. So the lift that was from the Maleficent Dragon can bring you all the way up here. So up to all three levels of so the Maleficent Dragon, the level where the shops are, and then this level here. So there is definitely a lift, because I just got a lift up because I could not make, make it up those stairs, but it's behind this door. So I think you might not notice it if you're already up here or how to get down and things, which is behind the door there with the disabled sign on. This is how pretty it is up here. Oh, look at the three fairies. I think someone's like sewing all that as well. A lot of work, isn't it? And then it tells you the story in French. So it's kind of like tapestries, stained glass windows, pictures. It's like a variety of different things, but it's beautiful up here. Look at this. I do love it up here. It's like one of my favorite bits in Paris up here. You can go out as well. Yeah. yeah, I like the fact you can walk all the way through the castle. Got the spinning wheel. Oh, there we go. So these are the best stained glass windows. Look at these. Maleficent. Oh, I've forgotten his name. That's going to really annoy me now. Three fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. Um, Aurora's father and mother. And then, like, the village people here. Oh, King Stefan. That's King Stefan. Who was the other person? And then you can also come outside on the top up here as well. See everyone up here. This is a really nice view up here. You can't see the windows from this side because of the way the stained glass work. The lights coming through from the behind them. Oh, people are trying to pull the sword out of the stone. My children actually did that in Florida. She actually just went up one day and just randomly pulled the sword out. You never, never know actually how it's meant to work. It just randomly just comes up every so often. Or I don't actually know, but she just was pulling it and ran, just it popped out. So you can see like there's ex something expansion there. I don't know what they're doing there. That's like where they the covered the building with pictures. Okay, so it looks like this is the exit to go down the stairs, which is where we came up. Well, you can see over here actually where they're building. So I don't know why they blocked all this off. This is the stage um, where they used to do the stage shows, but currently all that is blocked off. Looks like they're relaying stuff and doing things. So they've got all that little section down there near the castle that's all being redone so you can't go anywhere near that and then they're doing all this bit here um like i said it's kind of like um you can walk past it behind there but they're obviously doing something there it's like they're redoing it up or something but it is where they used to have the shows so yeah these are the castle shows so there's obviously no shows there at the minute so i just realized now and it's not one at the castle is there either so it's like they've stopped that show. So this is the exit here to get down. So that's um, the stairs. If you were going down the stairs, that's the way you would go down there. Or you can actually just go down the main stairs here that people are coming up. Um, people are just going down the main stairs as well. I think Ant has taken Matilda on um, Autopia. I'm just having a little rest. And this is really cute. I'm in the Videoopolis and it's huge. Nothing like what I thought it was going to be. They've got like little cartoons on here and there's like a screen, like third thing here, but I don't think anything's playing. Um, but they seem to be like French versions and then an English version of this show. I don't actually know what it is. I'm not in the know with this one. Um, so this half is kind of like a third of the half, but people are still eating and having snacks and things in it. And then behind me here, it's absolutely massive. It goes up and up and up. And then other oh, screens up there as well. 
and that's where most people are having the food and then this bit is kind of like a sit down chill area which is really nice we're coming to Le Nauticals I think it is um, basically next to Space Mountain the nautical ship thing <laughs> and this is what it's like so, so far we've just kind of walked through this corridor which looks like that with all the wood on wooden panels then we've come into this which is a bit like a submarine or something oh yeah this is like captain chambers or something oh yeah so it is like a submarine look at that and um, there was a lift down as well um so i just said i'm really struggling with the stairs at the moment can i please use the lift and she was like of course anybody can use the lift it's fine and told me where to like what door to go through to get the lift on the way back up again this is nice though it's nice and shaded down here it's nice and cool um it's not very good if you're claustrophobic i've just realized though <laughs> maybe i'm just not going to think about it at the minute i thought it was going to be like you went to the bottom of the stairs you looked around a little bit of glass with a fish in the water and then you went back i didn't realize it was like all of this it's huge jeez this is very fancy here look at this oh i see and the big humpback of that I venture it must be 30 tons or more I can't see anything in it though you can see a whale oh yeah there is a something coming now yeah. really nice to see it what we just went on so the door for it is just here and then obviously you go down walk through all the corridors and then this is what you're kind of walking through when you're walking through the ship or meant to be I don't know if you I don't know but this is basically what it is um, whereas I thought you were just kind of going down a bit and looking at that through the glass or something um, but you actually go through that but we're gonna head off now and have one last ride on Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. So just popped into a shop on the way out and they actually have a Disneyland Paris lounge bar. I've not even seen this in any of the shops so far. It's very cute. It's 90 euros. First time I've seen that in any of the shops so far. To do any in there because well, I've not seen those in any of the shops so far. That one's 350 euros. Disneyland Paris, Dooney and Burke. This is the um, cap shop, like the hat one at the very front of the park just before you exit. So it's got some like random bits in as well. Got patches there, and there they have lounge flies and bits. And we're all finished in the park for today. It's been boiling, <laughs> hasn't it? Really, 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 really hot. Um, so we're just heading out now. So it's nice. It's a nice little area, this. It's like a little kind of bit of a meeting area, isn't it? It is the nicest part that we've um, been to a place before. It's really pretty. Oh, you prefer it to Florida? I think, I think the park's nice. You think the park's nice, don't you? Yeah, everyone says it's the nicest park. Yeah, it is nice. Oh, wait for the doors to open. Um, so we're going to have... I think it's better. I just think it's nicer. Yeah, I know what you mean. We're going to have a leisurely stroll back to the hotel now. This is such a lovely little pretty area on the way back to the hotel. All the flowers here. The bloom's just going up as well. It really is a really, really nice day. It's also like grass here. It's like people are just out like having a picnic on the grass looking out over the lake. It's really lovely. Okay, we've made it back to the train station. So we got the bus um, back because we had our cases with us. So we got on the hotel bus, got off out here at the Disney um, village area. And then we've just come through the doors here to the train station. And we can see up here that the next bus to the airport is 1953 on platform five it's currently 25 past all right so we've come down on the escalator we finally found the one we needed it's a really nice train station isn't it um so we have booked a seat on this train did you have to book a seat oh. yeah. 
Uh, you don't have to, but you could do. So Ant's booked us a seat. But what I like is it tells you what letters are coming. So we know that the seat we've booked is in J. So it is in number five, isn't it? It's in carriage five. And number five up there is just underneath J. So we know that we need to go to J to get to carriage five. So you can see there, carriage four has been between H and J. So this is H. So we're going to go down here to J because we know that's where carriage five is. But they don't really do that in the UK. I know we run Virgin trains a lot to London and it's letters and they don't really, they don't, you don't really know where to go. Sometimes they're on the floor, but most of the times they're not. There goes one now. So we're still early. We're still about 20 minutes early. Um, but I'd rather be early than late. So off we go. We're on the train. It's beautiful scenery there. It's just so pretty looking out at all the... Look at that view. Hi, and then we came through behind us. Just through that there, didn't we? Yeah. And then now we're over here, going back up there. I remember this when we came the first day because we went the wrong way, didn't we? Remember, we went to the Nord and not the, yeah. or whatever it was. It was uh, one way was Nord and one way was Sud. We went to Sud, not Nord. Yeah, we went to we Sud, not Nord. Yeah, the train was really easy, wasn't it? It's literally like 15 minutes. Oh, there you go, look at that. All the flights popping up now on there. Okay, so we want 2C. Um, is the terminal we're heading for. So we're heading this, which is the way we came, you're right, isn't it? Did we come like a little monorail? Uh, now it's like, yeah. No, I mean, did it, we come on something like a monorail? No, that was at Oh, that was at Heathrow. So I'm getting confused. So we're heading over to Terminal 2C. Look at that, the A380's here. We're off to Dubai. Yay. Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, I'd rather go on the cruise. <laughs> so it's the same thing again where you go through these like little, oh, what was I called? I can't remember, like sky bridges. Um, at least these are working today. Saves your legs a little bit. So we have to come all the way, perhaps on the other side of the airport to where the pharmacy is here. And then you basically go down here into the line to check in. So it is currently quarter past nine and Anna's just rang me and said, where are you? We're boarding now. Um, the flight's not till 10 o'clock, I don't think it is. So they're boarding 45 minutes early. But I just went to McDonald's to grab me and Matilda just a quick snack. So I got a pan au chocolat was €2.70 and a bluey muffin was €3.80. It was like the McCafe. They have like a own little McCafe stand. So I just went to the McCafe stand and now I'm going to walk back to um, C85. That's our gate. And then I think we're probably going to look at started heading on okay. so i'll say getting on board <laughs> boarding the airplane not the boat yet okay, so it is currently half past 10 at night now we're very tired but we're just gonna give it some sea salt love corn okay so we're off the flight so it was only about 45 minutes 43 43 was it myself so when you come down all the escalators you come to this little bit here um, which is waiting for the train a bit like in Orlando isn't it so you can see we're here on the B&C gate and we need to go to there because we need to go back to the, all the terminals main gate and arrivals and baggage reclaim so when we came we were here and we were coming this way now we're going back the other way hey so we went through security we followed the signs of baggage reclaim even though we had no bags to pick up because that's kind of the way you followed to come out then we came out through customs and the lifts are right there opposite so we went outside a little bit like, like under a canopy kind of thing and then got in the lift up two floors for pod parking so we're kind of in the car park now so it was like level one car park level two car park level three foot went all the way up so level two was pod parking so if you remember when we came we left our car here at pod parking so we are leaving our car here overnight tonight we've paid for that but we need to go and get a bag out of the car that i I did like a lovely bag, packed all clothes that we're going to wear for tomorrow. Then I packed clothes in that bag to get on the cruise on Monday, so I wasn't using the like, suitcase trying to be prepared. But then obviously we didn't take it to Paris with us because we don't have enough space. So that's in the car. So we're going to go and get in the pod parking, which means I was very excited to do pod parking. So we're basically going to go and go in a pod to the car to retrieve a bag and drop a suitcase. And then we're going to have to get the pod back so that then we can go to our hotel. 
<laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> Look at this. We're in the pod. Oh, yeah, sorry. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Please press the closed door buttons. You are going to pod parking station A. Yes. Yeah, we was at Ready A, wasn't go. my... Press go. Ready to go. You're oh gosh, I get to press it myself. Station yeah. A. Press that. I'm ready to go. Oh. You press that. Yeah. Which it goes. It you might take me there. I don't know. Just waiting waitin for space at your destination. Oh, we did say we're experiencing high volumes of yeah. traffic. Yeah. Please share. Yeah. Uh, Thing if you can, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I like these. They've got like little handles here to hold on to. Oh, that's one going past. Woohoo, fellow podders. Oh, I know. It goes pretty faster than what I thought, actually. There's a little bit of information about it there. What did it say? It takes five minutes. Yeah. You use it. It's a pretty speedy, speedy. It's like the um, people mover kind of thing on the monorail. Yeah. Because we're above, aren't we? We're like high yeah. up on a track. It's yeah, a track, yeah. good idea. A really clever idea. So I've just realised how you can see we're almost then, and it's been tracking us all the way along on our trip. So it's a bit bumpy in places. And we're back in the pod, almost actually back at the um, airport now. This pod's actually different. It's a lot worn, <laughs> and it's not like three seats here, it's just two seats. You can see there. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? <laughs> That's true. That's true. So it's two seats with a gap in the middle here. They've either taken a seat out or it's just yeah. always meant to be like that. And then there's no um, like little screen here like there was in the other pod. And the controls are just there in the middle of the door. Whereas on the last pod, there were both sides, wasn't there? Yeah, it's just an old door. Yeah, yours and Matilda's seats are a bit different. They're more like a nicer. Mine's quite worn. You can see, even though. Yeah, they're very, very, very worn, though. <laughs> um, like the leather's like completely come off them, but you can even see. We're back now. Back at Terminal 5. Okay, so we think we've found it. It's trains Heathrow Express, Elizabeth Line, Terminals 2, 3, and 4 is free train service if you wish to use the underground service for the free transfer please turn right and use the other lifts and you can see it says there so that's trains for the Heathrow and the Elizabeth line so I think that's the way we have to go but that's going up so it's sending us over here to go down so we're going to be getting on the Heathrow Express because the Heathrow Express does a loop around the terminals um, so it tells you here the next train's coming. Okay, so we've come down and it's literally here, terminal two, three and four, via free train transfer. You come here to the ticket and you just press print with how many you want and it prints the tickets and then you can scan them through here like you're going on to um, the train or for the tube. Okay, so these are the little tickets that we got out of the machine, free train transfer. And we got the train from terminal five it was going to Paddington was the final destination, but it was stopping at Terminal 2 and 3 first. So it doesn't go direct to Terminal 4 from Terminal 5 for some random reason. You can't go from 4 to 5. Um, so you can't go from 5 to 4. We have to go from Terminal we have to go from Terminal 5 to Terminal 2 and 3. Now we're in Terminal 2 and 3, the central terminal. We've now got one minute before the train to Terminal 4. Even though it's funny because this train at Terminal 4, the next stop after us is Terminal 5. So this one at least tomorrow, we can go back that way. Oh, on the fancy new tube. This is like the Elizabeth Line tubes. So it's saying that train to Heathrow, Terminal 4. We realize it's not going to Terminal 5 after this one. It's just literally going to Terminal 4 and then going back again. Oh, there we go. The train after us on that platform is going to Terminal 5. Level zero, terminal four. Oh, level zero. Arrivals, oh, yeah, short sorry. stay car park, underground, terminal four bus station. We've got in the left, but we're going to level two for the hotel because we're staying in the Premier Inn. But it was only, um, you could only go up in the lift because there was no escalators anyway. So we knew straight away when we got in the lift we wanted two for the Premier Inn to follow the signs. 
And we literally came out of the lift there and it says here, hotels, straight up us. Then you're in, Crown Plaza, Holiday Inn Express. So we just had to follow this funny walkway. <laughs> Another sign there, four minutes away if you are at the Hilton or the Premier Inn and you're just a few minutes if you're at the Holiday Inn or the Crown Plaza and then it just carries on going again. And here we go, Premier Inn and Hilton, you are two minutes away. <laughs> it's just like the world's longest corridor. We've lost the Crown Plaza in there. Not with other people going in. We've lost the Crown Plaza and the Holiday Inn Express people. We're still powering on. Oh, we're coming to a crossroads. Left the Premier Inn, straight on for the Hilton. Oh. I was gonna say, <laughs> left if you're booking in a cheap Premier Inn, straight on if you've got money to stay in the Hilton. But what does it say? 120 meters to a warm welcome. Oh, seriously, this is killing me. 100 meters to a seriously tasty breakfast. They're winding me up now. We're almost there, 20 meters to super cool. We're almost there, 20 meters to super comfy bed. And after a little rest, we made it. Here we are. Hooray! So we had to go in the lift down one floor to check in. So they've got like some desks here open with people. Or they've got like these old like self-service counters where you just put in your booking reference number and names and things i think and then we should hopefully get our room okay so this is a room tour of terminal 4 premier inn at heathrow hotel so we were in room 228 so we didn't manage to do the room tour last night because we were so tired by the time we got here so i'm just gonna do it now this morning for you so on the left hand side when you come in you've got the ironing board You've got an ironing board and then you've got like one coat hanger here. So this is a full ironing board. Then here you've got a full, like not a full length, like a half mirror for doing like makeup in. You have a little kind of ledge here and a hair dryer. And it does light up. Then up here is spare pillowcases. You've got hanging space here and then there's a little space at the bottom there where the iron is. That's just our last bag to come out with us today. And then you've got a full length mirror here. I just realised there's a drawer there that I didn't actually look at yesterday. But yeah, and a little drawer there as well on the bottom. Then on the right hand side is the bathroom. So you can see the switch is just there and then you go into the bathroom here. So you've got towels rainfall shower up there then it's kind of like body wash shampoo rolled into one um, then there is um, hand soap there with another big mirror so it's a pretty decent sized bathroom then on the left you've got the desk with a lamp oh there's a safe here as well so it's quite a decent sized safe it does go quite far back so that's in the wardrobe area got bottle opener got bottle opener on the table there and you've got the lamp and um, like menus for dinner and drinks and things phone tea and coffee making facilities and the tv and then we had the bed the double bed and a pull out single bed for matilda over there so either side of the bed, there is lamps with light switches and plugs. But just so you know, there's no USB. So last night we couldn't charge any of our phones. We really struggled because we only had USB um, and like um, EU adapters. We didn't brought any of the British plugs because we know there's USB on the cruise. So there's no USB in um, here. It's just literally plugs. So there is plug sockets either side of the bed. There's a bedside like, little cabinet there and like a table thing here so we put it in between both of us so we could both use it on this bed and this bed's like a pull out bed and then there's loads of space here and then this is what you get on here so you get a kettle two mugs two glasses and then there was coffee in there tea sugar and sweetener phone remote for the tv and then under here there was actually a mini fridge so it's quite a decent size bin nice chair 
And then we had this view out of our window. I couldn't really see last night because it was so dark. So it looks like we're looking at the Hilton and a car park over there. So that's going to finish the video of the room tour for the premiere in. Hello, so it's actually the morning after because I forgot to end the video last night. I think I ended it on these little signs walking down here. Um, we were just so tired that we literally just crashed last night. Um, so we actually had a nice sleep, didn't we? I didn't sleep too well just because of like pain and things, but you and Matilda, Matilda you slept like a log yeah. till like half eight this morning, didn't move, but you did that yeah. in Newport Bay to be honest. Um, the, yeah, the hotel was quiet. I was worried last night when I saw loads of people going in, but it was quiet, it was comfortable, the room was nice, so we enjoyed it. I would stay here again if we ever needed to. It was easy enough to get to, wasn't it? It's only a little walk. It was accessible, there's a bar and restaurant, it was comfortable. Um, so that's it, that's gonna end our Paris videos. I hope you've enjoyed watching our videos in Paris, um, in Disneyland, or you've certainly enjoyed making them. It was a great trip after like seven years of not going. Matilda was very excited because she finally remembers some things from Paris now. Um, but we will yeah. see you all soon. I hope you've enjoyed this like this series, like I said. Please give a comment below if you have or you've got any questions. Like and subscribe and it's bye for now. Now the next time we are in a Disney park, we will be nine. 1698 kilometers away from Disneyland Paris in Tokyo Japan Tokyo Japan mm -hmm.